Today I'm going to be showing you the games Wuthering Waves and Fortnite being played on the Apple Silicon Mac using an Android mobile emulator called Mimi Player Pro. And this emulator has just had its full release today after a period of beta testing. Not only is Mimi Player Pro the only way to play many of these mobile games on the Apple Silicon Mac, it now support for different payment methods. You can now pay by credit card, Apple Pay, as well as PayPal. There are new key mappings, a new disk cleanup feature, and a new maximum frame rate setting as well. But really the most interesting thing is that we can get a brand new game like Wuthering Waves working on the Apple Silicon Mac. And if you've been following the news, you'll know that Wuthering Waves is actually going to get a future Apple Silicon native Mac port. However, this has no release date at the moment, so we have no idea when this is going to be coming out. So if you want to be playing Wuthering Waves on a Mac, what I do recommend that you do right now is to install Mimi Player Pro. So please make sure to follow the link in the description for my affiliate link. Every time you click on the link and install the seven day free trial, it's going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. To install Wuthering Waves, it's really simple. You just go through the Mimi Player Pro installation. You can follow the link in the description for my tutorial. Then just go to the Google Play Store and then install Wuthering Waves. And Mimi Player Pro is way more stable and easy to use compared to something like PlayCover. And people are having loads of issues trying to sideload this app with plenty of login errors and graphical glitches. Whereas on Mimi Player Pro, it's actually running quite well. Here we're hitting 60 frames per second most of the time on high settings. I'm not having any graphical glitches sound glitches. Now there is stuttering, especially at the start of the game when you're running the animations for the first time, but once you play it a little bit further, it becomes way smoother and the performance actually is very good. Now in order to play this on a Mac, I've actually made custom key mappings for keyboard and mouse controls. If you want to find out how to do this, then make sure to follow the tutorial link in the description. And it's pretty much a very good experience, especially being able to play this on the Apple Silicon Mac, at least until the full native ARM Mac version releases sometime in the future, who knows when it's going to happen. In the meantime, while you're waiting for the Mac port to come, then there's no harm using the seven day Mimi Player Pro free trial just to tide you over until that comes out. And we're also able to get the game Fortnite working as well. So finally, I've managed to get this working. The process is pretty straightforward. You have to install the Epic Games Launcher. You need to install this terminal tool and then run a couple of commands. What I found is that Fortnite doesn't run as stably as I'd like it to. At least in my experience, when I try to run Fortnite through creative mode, then it would crash. But if I was playing the Battle Royale, then I was actually able to complete two full matches. So at least this is quite stable. At the very beginning of the match, you'll find that it is very, very jittery. However, once again, once you actually play for about five minutes, then it becomes much smoother. You'll see here that it does stutter a little bit, but it's actually playable. So of course, Fortnite does have a macOS version, but it's actually about three or four years old. The Mimi Player Pro version of Fortnite is the only way of playing the current multiplayer battle royale with all of the latest updates, like the Star Wars update on an Apple Silicon Mac. And it looks like with Fortnite anyway, we're not going to be seeing an updated macOS port of that game anytime soon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little brief update about the full release of Mimi Player Pro, as well as the fact that we can play both of these games, as well as plenty of other mobile Android ports on the Apple Silicon Mac using this emulator. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.